been thinking about my, my fly tying collection and I don't know. I think this is a video for my kids. Um, I figure if I'm not around and they end up getting this collection, I might not know what everything is. Um, I kind of would love if one of them or both of them like took up fly tying and kind of use that as an art, go fishing and you know uh, catch fish with their their own family and friends and loved ones. Um, kind of like how. I do. Um, I spend a lot of time fishing with you guys. Um, you know, but never want to force, you know, force a hobby or an interest onto somebody. However, you know, uh, given the fact that it is a, a big way of how you spent time with me, uh, it's likely, it's likely something that, like, if you were to do it with somebody else, you'd also have the same kind of joy. Um, I can already see and that in you know each of you <clears throat> that you are very smart um, creative kids your kids right now you get, we got 10 and 8 uh, that's that's how old you are and uh, and you both express an interest to go fishing every now and then um, you know it's in your kids so you don't always have the attention span for it but you do like going out so let's let's look into things this is the current organization of everything. Who knows that this is gonna like, you know, stay, but I've, um, what I'm thinking of doing is going through each bin, you know, not in one video, but in multiple videos. It kinda makes sense to start off with, with fly tying tools. So, I got this block of common tools. I've got a vise, which you've uh, certainly seen me use. couple other kinds of vices and stuff. So, I think that's probably the first thing I set up. So, a vice that's like this, that you've used, um, you know, is, is one that you clamp onto a table. And then, you know, you crank on down. And you can use it to rotate things around a little bit. Definitely to hold on to your hook. Um, you don't need to spend a ton of money on, on vices and everything. However, however, I did find this one used and, uh, and this has become one of my favorites. However, this like cheapo, like $30 one is what I tie the majority of my big flies with um, because it's got like nice sturdy, sturdy vice grips to hold on to things. Um, but when I'm getting going with a lot of little flies, um, so that would be like size 12. You can look at the hook sizes, size 12 and, and smaller dry flies, nymphs um, and, and whatnot. Um, I, I switch over to this. Now, I, I don't actually like the pedestal vase. Base. Um, however, you know that's designed for like travel. You hook it in and everything. I like to take this and I like to put it in that C clamp that holds on to my table. Um, but I love this one. You know, this one you just squeeze, pop the pop the pop it in there. Um, and that, that's been a, a nice sturdy vice for me. Okay. So let's see. Definitely. If, you're, if it's like, what are the things to keep? Well, there's reasons kind of why I've kept everything that's like in this block. There are some other tools. There are like other accessory tools that didn't make it to the block because they don't get used that often. Um, and those are those are buried buried back in here. But the tools that are here are ones that have proven that to be tools that I want to use all the time. Um, and that's going to include a good pair of scissors. Now, what makes them good is that they are sharp right down to the very tips. You know, remembering that you're cutting your your coarsest um, stuff way down here so that you don't ruin the sharp little tips for those very small little hairs that you want to eat. You just want to get those last little hairs, those little feather wisps and stuff like that with the, with the very ends. But you do most of your cutting down here and saving that. So a good set of scissors, is, these are probably $30, these are Dr. Slick, Dr. Slick uh, scissors. Um, but, um, these are forceps. I don't use these in fly tying so much unless I've got a, I, I, you see the little locking thing there. You hold onto a hook and, and now it'll hold onto it for you. And it kind of makes it so that like you have another set of like precision hands that you can hold onto something with. So you can use your big old hands for it. Um, all right. So we've got a couple sets of scissors here. This is not scissors. These are used to crush down barbs because 
you know, 99% of the flies that I, I make are barbless, so um, it's easier to get the hook out of you and out of the fish, because you end up hooking yourself quite often. Um, you see, I got quite a collection of bobbins. Okay, that's what this is, is a bobbin. A bobbin is uh, the same vocab word from like a bobbin on um, a sewing machine. It's just what's holding on to your thread, okay? Um, and so there's several of these that have like these little metal, little, let's see, can we get that? Can we get that? I don't know, that little dark insert in there. This isn't really set up necessarily to do that. It's got a little dark insert in there. Um, and that makes it so that the thread is never rubbing up against metal. It's always rubbing up against that little ceramic piece that's on the inside. I keep several of them loaded um, just because I'm like, I'm ready to go, ready to go with, with a lot of common colors. Um, you know, your blacks and your blacks and white, you know, black and white, black and white. Maybe in sometimes with the saltwater flies, you actually tie with monofilament, which is, which is like fishing line, very thin fishing line. You actually tie that on um, to make... Um, clear flies, flies that you can see through the layers of, of uh, thread um, with. What else is here? Um, a little whip finisher, that's for finishing off the fly, tying the last final knots. Um, you've probably seen me use that. <sighs> there is a little set of, I like these, these little material holder hackle pliers. This is a plunger style. This is another style that I have somewhere else, but this has become my go-to for hackle pliers. You can Google that one later, unless we got, oh yeah, yeah, this is a, I don't know, I think maybe an English version, or, eh, like that. It's used for holding on to like eh, a little tiny feather so that you can wrap it around the hook. Um, there's another, another whip finisher in my little box of seconds here. Okay, what else? Then you got your bodkin, your bodkin, basically a needle on a, on a little dowel. Let's see, this one almost looks homemade. Um, and so, so this is used for applying one little drop of cement onto the thread when you're done with the fly so it doesn't unravel, um, or used for picking things out. There's a lot of little uses for a little bobbin, bodkin. Um, what else we got? We've got a little hair stacker. Okay, I've got a few different sizes of hair stackers, but these, these when you put hairs into them, you tap it on the table, lots of tapping tapping and then you pull it out horizontally all the hairs are stacked and they are flat so maybe we'll I'm sure there's some videos that go along with this that, that I've tied with hair stacked flies and then we've got um, so a, a threader you know a little threader for threading your bod bobbin okay you've seen me use that and you may be wondering what this is this is a stupid tool I don't know it fits in the hole, so that's why I put it there, but I don't really use it that much. This is called a, uh, a dubbing spinner. Um, yeah, you can look that one up, but I, I really don't use a dubbing spinner. Um, and what else? Uh, there's just lots of bobbins on here. Lots of these bobbins for holding thread. And then we've got our my UV resins. So this is used... Um, I really started getting into using this with all the salt water flies that we're tying. Um, a lot of times you want to have like a clear a clear coat on something. One thing that you should know about UV resin is that, well, it's cured, meaning it, it seals with UV light, ultraviolet light. So you, you've seen us mess around with this. Um, I got a couple, a couple UV lights. Um, you only do that as like a surface treatment. You never use that underneath layers of thread. You'd want to use something like, um, this is actually nail polish. Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails. You go to the Sally Hansen's area and see if you has, look for the, the nail polish that's called Hard as Nails. There we go, Hard as Nails. And uh, I pour that into this little dropper and then this allows me to add like little drops of it, you know, um, right onto the fly. This. This cures like a lacquer, um, you know, nice, nice glossy look to it, like like nail polish, because it is. Um, but it'll go and penetrate right into the fibers of whatever you're putting it on. So, um, so remember, like UV won't really penetrate. It'll penetrate, but it won't cure on the inside because light has to hit it. 
So this tends to be anything that you want to like apply as a glue, as a glue, a lacquer on the base layers of flies that they'll eventually, it'll eventually dry and cure inside of the fly and then UV on the outside. But again, I only use the UV material on like big flies. Um, again, kind of when I want to get like a see-through look to it. Maybe I want to build up a body just out of that resin. Okay, that's kind of going over a lot of the tools. Um, you'll see these little springs. These little springs are actually handy. They end up going on the end of this and it becomes a material holder as you're tying the fly. You can drop a little piece of material into that spring and hold it for a bit. It becomes like a third hand. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I do have some Zappa Gap. That's uh, basically like super glue. Um, I've got that around. times when I'm tying big flies, if I'm going to go down the tools route, there are times when I'm tying big flies where right? I get out the bigger tools. All right, so this is the auxiliary set of stuff. Sometimes I need a little goo gone, you know, goo off, you know, to get something off the table that I accidentally got there. All right, um, there's your, your fly tying head, head cement, head cement and thinner um, that you, it's basically, I don't use that anymore because I use the Sally Hansen's hard as nails. Um, but I, I, that's, I used to use this as my, like my head cement, the head cement is used to put over the last wraps of thread on the little tiny head of the fly. Oh, nail polish remover, eh, some experimental kinds of stuff. What else? Um, sometimes you need to start over, cut everything off the hook. Um, sometimes you need a bigger pair of scissors. You see that I just have like a set of tools here. Sometimes you really need to like clamp down and crimp some barbs or close some eyes on a hook. So that's what you, you end up seeing here. Some little nippers for cutting some of the wires that we might wrap around. That way I'm not ruining my scissors. I'm using the little nippers for that. Um, this is a dedicated tool set, you know, of just different types of pliers and, um, and, and wire cutters that are just dedicated to my fly tying bench. Um, so that I don't have to like borrow it from the shed or from the garage or anything like that. These stay right at the at my fly tying table. Same thing with the utility knife for cutting maybe strips of foam or something like that. You know, extra vices in case you guys come by and you want to tie something. I think I think that's it. All right, we'll, we'll stop the video here. Those are basic tools. Uh, the basic tools that you're gonna find within this. Are there other things? Yeah, there's other things like this is like a little hair packer. Yeah, I don't use that because I'm advanced beyond that. I don't need to pack that. There's other little hair stackers and like this little tool. Yeah, you, you could throw that away. Nobody needs this little tool. But I keep it anyway just in case there's a day when I do need that tool. What's it for? It's for holding back the material so you can finish the eye. Well, that's what my fingers are for. Um, it's for holding back the hackle and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, all right, we'll kill it. We'll kill that, all right, there's, there's part one, part one, tools. Welcome, welcome to the world of fly time. All right.